Hi guys, my name is Manila Akol and thank you very much for joining me on my video today which is Blank Spaces with Nale. So I haven't actually released a video in a week, that means I actually skipped a week, not on purpose but yeah, I think I should be more consistent guys, oh my goodness. You know when you think you have like a lot of time and then um that day comes when you're supposed to be doing a video and you're thinking oh okay yeah maybe i'll do it like later whatever my point is procrastination is a thief of time don't get into it anyway if you're joining me for the first time welcome to my channel i am so happy to have you and if you are a regular thank you so much for your support guys i really really appreciate it <laughs> i really really do because i don't take this for granted it's something that is very close to my heart i really really like growth i like self-development and it's awesome to actually not only do it on my own but also do it with other people as well so yeah i hope you're enjoying the videos that we've been sharing together Today guys, we're going to be talking about something very, very interesting and I'm saying it's interesting because all of us know this, but to some extent, I usually say that because the things that I like discussing is very, I would say, basic knowledge that most people know, but without practice, they're not effective. So most of these things that we know, we hear, the only way that they become useful in our lives is if we decide to practice them. If you don't practice the things that you know, unfortunately, they're not going to work for you. And knowing them and not knowing them is not going to make such a difference. So today's topic is actually, um, yeah, the dangers of worrying people's opinions. The dangers of actually not being very careful about the kind of words that form your life the kind of people that speak into your life and the kind of person that you're intentionally trying to be if you know me by now you should know that i'm a very intentional person if you've been listening to the videos that i've been putting up there that's what i mean i'm a very intentional person i don't believe that you wake up and you have the kind of life that you're hoping for i believe that you actually have to put in some work in order for you to have the life that you're hoping to have so intentionality is very very important in self-growth it's very important for you to be aware of the kind of things that forms you because as we know hopefully that information forms us the dangers of worrying people's opinions i've been listening to one of the top neuroscientists in the world her name is dr caroline leaf i will put her link one of her video links in my description if you have time guys time check it out as soon as you can i promise you a whole lot of things that she's been saying to me at least it makes so much sense so she's a christian neuroscientist and she has a really clear way of explaining the brain explaining the mind and taking that information which is under the field of science and making it <laughs> somehow some way connect um with the bible i've been listening to a lot of her videos and i absolutely absolutely love what she has to say going back is that i really believe that you have the power to actually change your life but you also have to be aware of the work that it's going to take and you also have to be aware of how you actually want to go about it how you're going to go about it and the fact that it's not something that happens overnight you have to make intentional decisions consistently in order for you to have the kind of life that you want to have so going back to this topic of the dangers the dangers of worrying people's opinions more often than not unfortunately we have fell victim i would say or we have thought of of ourselves a victim to what people have to say about us to what people don't say about us or whatever the case is whatever it is but what i found is that it's easy to blame people um you know to some extent of things that we can actually take control of people can say mean things sometimes and sometimes they can say nice things so in talking about opinions i'm not specifically concentrating on negativity i'm just thinking about people's opinions being very careful of 
the opinions that form you we have to take responsibility because the truth of the matter is like one famous person <laughs> i look for the one saint i know it's like what anyway um but the truth of the matter is that if there is nothing within that can resonate or that can attract what other people are saying usually it doesn't affect you but more often than not to be in a place in your life where you feel like you need to hear what someone else has to say in order for you to make certain decisions or in order for you to be a certain kind of person maybe you should step back before you continue to actually blame the next person to ask yourself what is it that actually makes you rely so much on what other people have to say why isn't it just okay for you to get to understand who you are and you make decisions that actually benefit your life in spite of what a family friend partner or any other person in your life says and i'm not saying the opinions of those people don't affect us one way or the other of course they do but here's the thing it's okay to listen to what another person has to say but it's not okay for you to be dependent on what someone else has to say in order for you to make decisions that shape your life you become too dependent on people they will break you sometimes it could seem to make you but the problem with that is that if they decide they want to break you they'll easily be able to break you now taking responsibility is basically understanding that you have to get to a place where you understand who you are where you understand what you stand for and what you're made of what you want and what you don't want and that is not necessarily going to come from what people say and what people don't say it's going to come out of your understanding of your purpose in life your understanding of your intentions why you do the things you do and why you perhaps choose not to do other things and that understanding it takes a lifetime you get to a place maybe i don't know some earlier than others 30s maybe late 20s maybe mid 30s it differs from one person to another where you're like okay now i'm very comfortable with my journey i know what i'm about i know where i'm going and i actually know what kind of people i want around me and i would know by just hearing an advice or an opinion that no i don't resonate with it so it's not something that i want in my life and not only that like people are so full of opinions people talk all day every day like i'm talking right now, right <laughs> and showing my perspective same is life we all know that people are constantly talking and if you cannot shut out the noise and decide what is it that is good for you in spite of the external noise unfortunately your life is going to be very unstable because one moment you're going to be listening to this opinion that says a and the next moment you're going to be listening to something else that says completely something different i don't care who that person is if you are not in a place where you are able to rationally weigh what is good for you and what is not good for you internally people can just really move you from left to right and that's a very unstable emotional state to be so it would be very good for you to just step back from a lot, lot of things and just do introspection about what you think is good for you and what you don't think is good for you it's unfortunate that most of us actually spend our resources, our time, our lives trying to live up to opinions that of people that don't even care about us. One, two, trying to make people see us in a, in, in, in a way or from an angle that we don't see ourselves. You know, it is true that he who conquers himself conquers the world it is very important for you to get to a place in your life where you are able to affirm yourself from the inside you're able to say okay you know what um this is what i'm about and this is what i believe in and this is what i don't want and this is what i want and i'm okay with someone who agrees with that and who disagrees with that so 
it's not that people always have to agree with you it's actually not healthy you need people who have different perspective it's okay but you also have to understand why you stand for the things that you stand for you have to be a grounded kind of person because when you are grounded you're able to have healthy conversations and debates with other people about different types of things without taking it personal or without trying without thinking that they're actually trying to make you look bad because i also realize that some people you can't exactly have have healthy debates with them the minute you get into a discussion with them they automatically think you're trying to pull them down because you don't necessarily agree with their opinion which i think it's a problem and it has been a problem for a very long time in this world i think people fight go to war do all kinds of things because of difference in opinion and unfortunately in a place where people have all kinds of opinions and are unable to settle things it can be a very uncomfortable place to be it's better for us you know to get to a place where we understand that we don't necessarily have to view things from a same angle and it's actually okay you know it depends what topics we're talking about but it's okay to let someone hold on to what they believe and it's okay for you to share it that's another thing you also have to get to a place where you don't push your opinions onto other people but you rather share your opinion so that people hopefully get to know what you're about they don't have to understand it just knowing it's okay it's enough <laughs> people don't have to understand you that's another thing that i realized um the past i think a few uh the past few weeks is that it's okay for people not to understand you life is not being understood it's not about being understood i don't think you should go around seeking to be understood you should go around however being who you are and hoping that your intentions and your good deeds will actually present you in a way that people can accept it like they can be like ah oh, okay okay this is what it's about but they don't have to understand it so let's move on to the next point do not compare yourself with other people i know some of us grew up in places environments families where you always compare with someone else and they're like oh but why why don't you do this like why can you not do this like that person it's unfortunate guys you have to remember that we were raised up most of us by people who are not perfect who were also struggling with our own frustrations hurts all kinds of things so we grew up in places where perhaps you were constantly compared with your neighbor or with your sibling or whatever the case is i think the first thing that one should do is to recognize those opinions that have formed your life that have sort of like shaped your life and that have shaped your life maybe in a way that you don't like but it, when you're an adult you're like actually the reason why i behave this way is because i was constantly compared to this person or i was constantly put in a place where i had to fight or compete or whatever the case is recognize it forgive the person or the people who are constantly saying that if they knew better they would know better i'm a firm believer of when you know better and believe it you do better but if you don't you can only repeat what you know or what you believe to be true for this matter so you have to get to a place where for your healing to begin for your healing to take place so that you're not constantly affected as an adult by what someone said 10 minutes ago is to recognize it forgive the person forgive yourself for measuring yourself your abilities your skills talents your awesome awesome person with an opinion of someone who didn't even know you nor do they know your capabilities or what is it fully that god has created you for but i guess i would put it like this you believed it because you didn't know any better and you sort of shaped your life according to that but now that you begin to see that wait 
this person has say this and that and that and I'm not like this or whatever the case is then it's a good thing to come to realization that you don't have to box yourself in according to someone else's opinions so let it go in a nutshell let it go that's one of the beautiful thing about forgiveness is that when you let things go you give yourself opportunity to live from a place of love if you don't let go of things as they happen you harbor them you have resentment you have all these kind of issues not only are they going to physically make you sick because it has actually been proven that stress and depression and negative thoughts they can actually physically make you sick but it's going to prevent you from being the from being the kind of person that God has intended you to be. Forgiveness really frees you from being stuck in a place of hurt that, that will prohibit you from growing the way you're supposed to grow. You can be an adult and emotionally a child which is unfortunate because the experiences that have happened to you when you were young and you haven't been able to forgive yourself and the person. And so you're in a place where you are emotionally a child, but you have grown in terms of age. So there's this part about yourself that you can't necessarily share with people and fully be because it hasn't healed and it's still in this place in this dark place but what forgiveness does it frees you from being emotionally trapped in a place that you were hurt in so this video we are actually breaking it into two parts the first and the second part the second part guys it's coming next <laughs> In the next video which I will be dropping next Friday so the second part you'll hear it when it comes to just close up this part it is very important for you to accept yourself and all that you come with the things that you've been through and the things that have shaped you in order for you to be the kind of person that you are today you have to learn to be easy on yourself to be kind to yourself to love yourself to treat yourself with love and respect so that you are able to actually not only teach others how to treat you but also be leaning towards other people remember that most most people do what they know and most people are unfortunately caught in bad habits they haven't learned a healthy way to actually converse with people they are going through things themselves that makes them unfortunately view the world in a certain way for example you go to the shop and you get this teller who's very mean to you and they say all kinds of things and then you take it personal you don't even know what that person went through in the morning and i'm not saying that it's right or whatever the case is but it's more freeing to understand that you actually have the power to to um choose your reaction you don't have the power to choose what happens to you but you have the power to actually choose how you react to the things that happen to you it gives you a, a, a sense of control it gives you a sense of accountability and it helps you to not be afraid of what someone will say or will not say or whatever the case is because some people live their life so afraid of what people will approve or not approve but it makes you to understand that you are the person who has to love yourself you have to accept yourself and when you do those things it doesn't matter who else loves and accepts you yes we really do need love as human beings but by actually just doing that you are opening yourself up or you're putting yourself in a position where you will welcome um people into your life that also love themselves and value themselves and people who love themselves and value themselves don't go around demeaning people I don't say they don't do mistakes, but
but they don't go around just negatively talking about someone just trashing people taking people down tearing people apart whatever the case is um it doesn't make you a better person to speak negatively about other people i think more often than not it exposes you to be honest if you are the kind of person who is constantly taking people down gossiping about people tearing people apart and all kinds of these things and in between unfortunately that means there are issues in your life that you haven't resolved and you're trying to actually project your insecurities onto other people and more often than not it doesn't really help you with anything it just in worst case scenario hurt someone else or it makes you feel some sort of like oh yeah i'm not so bad or whatever the case is go fix your life fix your life if you really do an introspection you'd find that you're not a very secure emotionally person because if you were you'd only spread what your heart is filled with the bible um there's a scripture in the bible that says out of the heart the mouth speaks so that means the things that you harbor in your heart when they come out they expose you so the things that you're made of those are the things that you can only speak or take out of your mouth so the things that you say about other people for me someone who's constantly talking negative about other people and all of those things in fact i worry about what fills their heart because you can't be filled with all that negativity. You can't be filled with positivity and speak so much negativity is not possible. So be very careful of what your heart harbors. What is it that is in your heart? Be very protective of your heart because that's your, your place of, of, of serenity. In conclusion, make sure that you take care of yourself. Love yourself, okay? You can never love yourself enough. But more than that, remember that opinions are just opinions and they change every day. So don't build your life around opinions. Otherwise, your life is going to be very unstable. Become a very still-centered person from within and leave from the inside out as opposed to the outside in have a good week ahead for those who have actually taken the time to subscribe to my channel thank you very much and remember to subscribe to my channel so that you get notification whenever i drop a video take care guys and have a good week ahead